Greetings and salutations, my freak nasty wet hot lady bitches and dude sluts, it's me again, that totally real person who is definitely not a robot, and I'm here to catch you up to speed on what has been happening in the 2017 Major League Soccer. Major League Soccer.com backslash hot deals Columbus Cruisers FC season, shall we begin? Yes, the regular season kicked off in March, as Gerg Bergerger and the lads took to the footy pitch for the 22nd season of Crew SC Soccer. Brought to you by ZZ Boots Wild Man's Leather and Lace, the Midwest's number one outlet for gag gifts like synthetic urine. Yeah, cool. The Yellow Finches started off slow as fuck, with a tie at home against the small fishing village of Bridgeview and a loss on the road against the Zombie San Jose Clash, before turning it on with back to back wins against DC United and those self indulgent hipster fuck boy fart smellers from Portland. April was a cruel mistress for the lads as Columbus shit the bed on the road for two shutout losses and came from ahead to lose at home against New York City Football Club to finish off the month. Wins against the Orlando City Crystal Mathematics and the Toronto Football Clubs were sprinkled in there at some point, but everyone was too busy rabbling on the internet to notice. The month of May was more of the same. Not only did Crew SC go 500 with three wins and three losses, but Crew Cat was still dead after being murdered by Clark Beacom also known as Timber Clarky, also known as Daddy Beaks. Another come from ahead loss started off the month of June, as the Colorado Rapids played soccer for exactly 9 minutes in a 2-1 win over Columbus. A trip to Atlanta was up next, and oh my god have you heard that the footy lad supporters in Georgia had bought like 3 million goddamn tickets and holy shit look how many stands are being won in this area right here, sweet holy monkey tits. I hope there are at least 12 Reddit threads a week that are dedicated to tracking how many of these proper lads have shown up to their college football stadium since their team was invented 5 entire minutes ago. July wasn't terrible, but it also wasn't great. Two wins two losses in the second tie of the year put Columbus on the verge of either making or not making the playoffs. No one was really sure on how to feel, so we decided to continue to freak out on Twitter, just to be safe. After an away loss against our natural geographic rivals from the city of San Jose, California, Columbus Cruisers FC decided to start playing like a werewolf with a chainsaw for a penis, picking up 10 points in the last four games alone. The lads now find themselves sitting at third place in the entire league, which is weird because, like, how is that even possible? Let's get on the fax machine to check that out. Oh yeah. Because MLS, six games remain in the regular season for Dem Footy lads, with three of the next four being played at the Tiny Demon Fortress. As the team finds themselves playing their best soccer at the end of the year, the question becomes will this be a year to remember for Columbus? How should I know? I'm not a robot, I'm a real person who makes internet videos on YouTube and wants nothing but the best for my fellow human brothers and sisters and I'm not going to painfully murder you in your sleep tonight at all. How dare you? This has been another edition of Moving Pictures featuring the sound of human voice. Error error error. One nation on the sod. Black hat the galaxy. Gangster crew baby got nothing but love for you see. This is Columbus. Whose fucking kid is this? It's Pedro Sanch. Not Sanchez. He's gonna score all the goals. He's gonna score all the goals. Hashtag for Columbus. Hashtag for club and country. Yellow diamonds yellow shoes yellow bitch Columbus crew. Brace for impact. What do we do with the tire Greg? Dare to be massive. Dare to be not a robot.